Ms. Yvelim asked what indicators we will look at in considering lifting the circuit breaker measures. We will consider a variety of factors. First, numbers are important, but they are not the only thing. We need to be assured that community transmission locally is stemmed or very low. Community cases should ideally fall to zero or single digit daily, with very low numbers of unlinked cases, and not just for one day, but sustained over a period of time. We also need to see a decrease in migrant worker cases. These cases are high today, partly due to proactive case finding in some settings. While we have been able to keep local community cases low, despite high number of cases among migrant workers, it is equally important to reduce the migrant worker cases over time, though it will take a while longer. Otherwise, we will continue to be at risk of a spillover from the dormitories into the wider population. Second, we need to make an assessment of the situation globally and for individual countries to inform the extent and approach on reopening our borders. We would review the rate of transmissions in other countries as well as what they have done to contain, to, to contain the spread. For any reopening of our borders, we are likely to start small and selectively and to continue to impose a mix of isolation and test requirements to protect ourselves from new imported cases leading to community spread. Third, we must put in place a system to allow us to open up safely. When we allow more business, business and social activities to resume, there will be more interactions and higher risk of virus transmission at the workplace and in the community. Therefore, we need to step up our capability and capacity to test and detect cases early, contact trace quickly, ring fence close contacts promptly, and establish the original source of the infection to stop other undetected transmission chains, if any. These are the key enablers which will give us confidence to reopen. <laughs>